You've got a, a, one of your doctor, you're one of your colleagues on the line that you just introduced this technology to. Would you please introduce him and have him share the story? Absolutely. Um, a, a good friend of mine who is just a phenomenal doctor, he has one of the uh, largest, most amazing practices in, in the country, although he's far too modest to say that, I will say it for him. Uh, Dr. Rob DiMartino, he's in Las Vegas, and uh, I wouldn't hesitate to, to send anyone to him, just an amazing doc. And uh, so um, I told him about the wand. He, uh, he got it, and I think we'll uh, let him tell you what he did with it. Dr. DiMartino, are you on? Yeah, I'm here. Welcome. So, uh, yeah, it was... Um I actually got the wand purely off of uh, Dr. Pascal's reputation. Uh, he, he called me up and he said, hey, man, I got this new thing. You're not going to believe it. you got to get on board with this. I said, well, what is it? And he says, it's this magic wand thing, and I've never found anything like this for pain. So we, we run a lot of the similar types of things in practices. And, and you know, my practice, again, is, is kind of full of people who have some pretty severe neurological problems. And I said, well, okay, cool, I'm in, so let me let me get this. And I, I, mean, I basically, I never saw it, didn't look at a website really much of anything. I just took it off his word, and I said, well, you never steered me wrong before. I said, just, uh, and then let me know what, what, and I'll let you know what I think when I got it. So I got the wand, and I just immediately started using it with um, patients and the like, and, and I just had some really, really cool stories right off the bat. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. You, know, you get known for being able to do all of these incredible things and help these people with all of these problems you know, in the, in the body to heal. And then you get this little, very nondescript looking pen thing out and you wave it around and people, and you get these crazy looks from people like, how in the world did you just do that to me? And I said, you know, we've gotten you know, people up and walking from Bedrin and you know, probably my, my, one of my most famous stories is I got a, a, a young man, he's 36 years old, he's been bedridden for the last six years um, two major head injuries back to back, and then a, a severe, severe car accident where it was a miracle he wasn't killed. He got rear-ended by a drunk driver. He was stopped, and they were doing 80. Somehow didn't kill him. And uh, then, of course, to, to add insults onto injury, he gets struck by lightning. Uh -huh. Not, not even kidding. The, the kid gets struck by lightning. He gets this was he was in, living in Kansas at the time. Gets thrown 40 feet into a house and his mom said if you've ever watched cartoons he hit the house back first and slid down like the cartoons where they, you know, they just kind of slide down and turn it's like a, a puddle of goo at the bottom she said she didn't know what to do he's been to i was the 32nd doctor he's come to see walked into my practice and uh, started working with him and doing some of the neurological techniques that we do and you know, I was happy to say he everything. You know, he had no sensation in his legs. He was unable to walk. You know, he could barely walk short distances. Everything came back, and he had all the feeling in his legs. He's up and walking now. He walks with a cane, but really the cane's more just for stability, just so we make sure he doesn't fall. But the one thing that happened to him when we turned all of his neurological power back on was his hands went to an excruciating, burning type of pain. It was this constant burning sensation and his hands actually looked red and it was a really tough thing for him because uh you know in his time he was he's an artist and a really talented one at that too so i was feeling just horrible that after everything you know after as excited as he was and as how happy he was that all this came back now he was starting to have real difficulty using his hands so the two things that kept him occupied which was art and playing video games he kind of lost out on and when I got the wand, I said, well, he was the first person that actually popped into my head to use it with. And when he came into, into my practice that day, I said, hey, do you trust me? He says, yeah, with, with my life. And I said, okay, well, um, I got this new thing and I want to try it out. I said, don't think I'm nuts. I said, but I'm, I'm going to weigh this around. He says, well, you got me here. Do what you think is right. And I started using it and I wanded it around him. And the second I started wanding on his hands, he's like, because he has his eyes closed when, a lot of the times when he's laying down. He looks at me, he looks up, and he goes, are you poking me? I said, no, I'm not, I'm not touching you. I'm just going to wave this around up above you. He says, no, but I feel pricklies all over my hands. He's like, are, are you poking me with something? No, I said, I'm, I'm not even near you. So sure enough, he, uh, he shoots me a message that night on Facebook to send me a message that said that his, fans, his hands felt like he, what he was when he was a teenager before all of his accidents and injuries. Oh, that's an awesome story. 